Okay, so I promised you some um, some three D printing. Um, so I got two things three D printed. Um, one is the actual seal driver for the for the forks. Um, but more interestingly, I'll show you that in a few minutes. More interestingly, um, these clocks that came with the bike, as you can see, they're badly damaged. Um, so I was thinking, okay, well, will I will I get a new housing for it? And uh, yeah, it's quite expensive for a new housing. So what I did was I ordered one of these digital um, digital gauges that has everything on one. So it has the, the the rev counter and the speedo and that kind of thing, all in one. And but that wasn't going to fit in in this in this setup. Well, maybe maybe you could have made it fit, but. Um, I decided to 3D print a new mount, so there's a couple of goes. So I got I got my nephew to print these for me. Um, so we had this one here that failed um, early on, a couple of hours into the print, it failed. Um, this one failed quite late into the print. It was about a, a ten hours into the print, it failed again. So. But we finally got a success, um, which was this here. So I kind of I, I went on to SketchUp and I designed this myself. So um, now you can design whatever you want, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to have one single gauge in the middle. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to kind of take the rough edges, make it a bit rounder than this. Um, so yeah, as you can see, just show you from the back. I added this piece on just so it rests up here so there's another kind of point of point of contact point of support um, and then obviously the two mounts so let me show you what it looks like now I don't have the gauge the gauge hasn't arrived yet but it just happens that the gauge that I've ordered will be the same size as this gauge so it will be something like this except it will be digital so it will be a single gauge in the middle like so, let me take that away. So this is the kind of this is the kind of look I'm going for. Um, so there's my gauge. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down because, as you can see, this is this is uh, this is glue actually that he, he used because it was printed upside down like that. So the actually nicer finishes on the back. Um, and I'll just show you the support, the points of support. Now, if anybody wants this, I can share this. Obviously, as you can see here, it's gonna actually sit sits flush with the with the bottom part, so it actually has a point of support. Um, uh, we used PETG to print this. Um, you could probably use PLA, but but PETG is probably more suitable for outdoors. Um, and obviously, there's a little bit here that isn't isn't a hundred percent flush, so I'm gonna fix this um, fix this by hand now. Uh, but yeah, for the first for the first go, I, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so that was that was the clock, and then we printed these. So I'll put the clock to the side. We printed these as well. I'm going to print this. So this is my seal driver. So uh, I found this this online. I didn't I didn't do the design for this, um, and it clips around the fork. I'll show you. Clips on the fork tube. Grab a tube here. With the tube, it clips on around it. So you put one end. It's a it's a really nice design, and the the guy who designed it or whoever it was, as you can see, just clips on. Put something around it, and you can bash it then. So that was the other thing was the fork driver. So again, very happy with this. So this would be a nice tool, nice tool for the the assembly of the forks. And I think the gauge, I think the gauge is gonna be um, is gonna be great too. So so yeah, so that's it. So look, let me let me sand this down, um, prep it for paint, kind of make sure that these these inserts are correct they're a little bit too small 
ever so slightly. I mean, we're talking millimeters here. So I'll adjust them as well. Um, sand this all down, get it painted, and uh, and yeah, once the the gauge arrives, then I'll show you what it looks like as I finished when I'm assembling the bike. As you can see, it's looking better. There's still a few, few notches to take out, but it's, it's looking much better. Once painted, it's going to look great. Okay, I'm all done. Um, that's it. It's um, I have it painted, and um, this is what it looked like before. Just just to give you a comparison, of side by side. So you can see the the polishing does uh, kind of the sanding it down and uh, painting actually makes a massive difference. So I'm actually really happy with the result. Kind of I've squared off. I've taken off all the all the sharp edges off it. So so that's good. Uh, so next I'm just waiting for the clock to arrive and I'll be able to fit this on the bike as, as soon as I have the forks ready so I hope you like it if you um, if anybody wants wants this uh, a copy of her or even even better make you can make it yourself I I think it's gonna be a win this um, if if you're looking for a custom bracket for some sort of a gauge that that you want to put into it this is really the only way to do it the only quick way to do it uh, I mean I drew this up in in an hour and I had it printed well it took it took a while now it took about two days to actually print it um, still faster than most shipping anyway um, but that's because we had a few a few small uh, glitches with the with the actual printer setup um, but once 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 it once it printed it's it's solid um, I used, like I said before, I used PETG, um, and it's quite thick. This is 11 mil thick, um, but it's solid. There's no, there's no flex in it or anything else like that. I'll just show you. There's almost no flex in this at all. You know, you don't want to. This is never gonna break. Um, so it's it's real good quality stuff. Yeah. So look, it's a it's a solution if you if if your clocks are bunched like mine or. Or if you want to do kind of a, a facelift on your bike, um, yeah, I'm happy with this, uh, and I'll be using the 3D printer a bit more um, for other things.